situation. Carson, people living on Lamont Avenue say their neighborhood has always been a quiet place, but that all changed for them last night. That's actually when we heard the, uh, the gunshots go off, and then shortly thereafter it was quick before the, the street was just flooded with units. Ramo Felix has lived in the neighborhood with his family for just over a year. He says hearing gunshots and seeing a big police presence right outside his house was frightening. You know, it's, it's surreal when you see, you know, armed officers coming down and you can hear the noise, but you don't know what's going on. OPD says officers responded to a home where someone was threatening to commit suicide. When police arrived, they say a 61-year-old woman pointed a gun at them. That's when an officer fired their weapon. It's sad that, that she would, you know, was going to want to commit suicide and that I feel very sorry for the policeman, you know, that shot her. Very surprising. One of those things that you wouldn't, you wouldn't expect that from someone, you know, of that nature. Mm -hmm outside taking care of their lawn, just a house individuals. The woman was taken to a local hospital and no officers were hurt. Neighbors hope this will encourage people to check in on one another. You get to know your neighbor first and foremost, you know, and that's one of the things that I love about Odessa. Be a little bit kinder and notice what's going on a little bit more, you know, with their neighbors maybe. Now the investigation has been turned over to the Texas Rangers and there's no update on that woman's condition. Reporting at studio, I'm Mark Ramirez, ABC Big 2 News.